Welcome to another episode on our channel. Today, we delve into the world of networking, specifically focusing on the Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, or DHCP. DHCP, in its simplest term, is a network protocol that enables a server to automatically assign an IP address to a computer from a defined range of numbers configured for a given network. It serves as the postman of the internet, delivering right to your device's doorstep the necessary IP addresses it needs to communicate effectively within its network. It's crucial in networking for its ability to manage the dynamic distribution of IP addresses in a network, reducing manual configuration efforts and errors. Now on to configuring a DHCP server on a Windows system. The first step involves installing the DHCP server role. Begin by opening the server manager. Find and click on Manage, located in the upper right corner. From the drop-down menu, select Add Roles and Features. As you go through the wizard, you will find a list of roles. From this list, select DHCP Server and complete the installation process. Once the DHCP server role is installed, the next step is to configure the DHCP server. Open the server manager, click on Tools, and select DHCP. In the DHCP console, you'll see the server name. Give it a right click and choose Authorize if it hasn't been authorized already. With the server now authorized, it's time to create a DHCP scope. Head back to the DHCP console and expand the server node. Look for Scope, right click on it and choose New Scope. A new scope wizard will pop up. Here you'll need to provide necessary information such as the IP address range, subnet mask, default gateway, DNS servers, and any other relevant details. Once the scope is created, it's time to configure DHCP options. In the DHCP console, right-click on the scope you've just created and select Scope Options. Here, configure options such as DNS servers, domain name, and any other settings your network requires. With all the options set, it's time to activate the scope. In the DHCP console, right-click on the scope and select Activate. Now let's test the DHCP configuration. To do this, on a client machine, set the network adapter to obtain an IP address automatically. You can either restart the client machine or use the command ipconfig slash renew in the command prompt to obtain a new IP address from the DHCP server. Finally, it's essential to monitor the DHCP server. In the DHCP console, you can oversee leases and see the status of connected clients. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide to configuring a DHCP server on a Windows machine. Remember that these steps may vary slightly depending on the version of the Windows server in use, so always refer to the documentation specific to your version if needed. Thank you for tuning in, and until next time, keep exploring the fascinating world of networking.